la 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 Mercy, almighty oh Adeptus, I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh, you enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we... It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly... The Amber that swallowed up my brother, Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy, right here on the spot. And now, that long last, Two messengers come to my aid! What? We're not Adepti messengers! We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else! No, no, no! You, you must be messengers! You have to be! I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Thank you, thank you! Oh, mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti, I promise that we will never be so foolish again! Paimo was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Hmm. So, he said that Li Deng got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Fuhau and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and
And make sure to be on the lookout for Amber on the way. You rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He made it to the top. That means he should be okay. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way.
Thank you for rescuing my brother, O oh mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers, so it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank you. Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti Messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Of Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment. <laughs> you intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti, but your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! Mooncarver, trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth, for Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis. Gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. magical powers in storybooks seems it's true in real life too you know like how grass is actually adepti hair and rivers are actually adepti saliva there must be something similar going on with the amber your nonsense knows no bounds this amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here called the karst crawler the majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. 
But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. attention that way. But what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some sticky honey roast? here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. 
What would you call a dish? Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paimon bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. What do you get if you cross Matsutake and raw meat? Dodoko? Dodoko, where are you? tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew! And there's a huge footprint on it, too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. <laughs> I've been so curious. What kind of dish uses only flour and meat?
One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adept.
These bombs, so heavy. One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did oneself build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. 
find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paimon was gonna say! We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you! We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out! Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first! Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion! Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the God of Contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of Contracts, Far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. <sighs> Rex Lapis infused these sigils with a deptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once, and- <laughs>